We begin this news hour with some dramatic footage from the United States. Take a look at these live pictures. Tornadoes from a huge storm that's hit the United States Midwest have touched down to the south of Oklahoma City in the last uh, hour or so. Two schools have been completely destroyed. Hundreds of homes flattened just outside of uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, this storm system first hit uh, the state of Oklahoma on uh, Sunday. This tornado uh, that's caused the damage that we're looking at now was on the ground. Uh, we understand for about an hour it has wreaked an enormous amount of damage. Just uh, let the scene sink in as you look at these live helicopter pictures here uh, showing the path of destruction wrought by uh, this tornado. When you see pictures of the school, which inevitably you will in a few moments, uh, it's left at a, a, a mangled wreck, one of the schools anyway. One of the schools that was hit actually was an elementary school. Uh, the other school was uh, seniors. Just before we came on the air, we were looking at pictures of, uh, of parents being reunited with their kids uh, who were attending uh, that school, who'd obviously sought uh, safety in underground shelters at the time. Uh, an extremely traumatic event for any uh, parent uh, rushing to the scene of something like this. But uh, entire neighborhoods, a vast area of this suburb of Oklahoma City, completely flattened by this huge tornado, which uh, we understand is the worst to hit the area since May of 1999. Uh, Al Jazeera's John Hendren is in Fayetteville in the state of Arkansas. He's on his way as we speak to uh, Oklahoma City. Hopefully he'll be uh, reporting uh, from there for us in a few hours time. But uh, John, it, it certainly looks as though uh, this was a massive storm that touched down there. It does, a massive storm with a series of tornadoes uh, breaking a wide swath of territory. They are expected to pummel several states, including Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma, all throughout uh, the American Midwest. There have been electrical explosions visible on the ground in the capital city of Oklahoma. That's Oklahoma City. Sirens uh, were sounded throughout town. In the capital itself, where legislators work, uh, they all ran down to the basement. Um, and that is ongoing now as, as we speak, I'm told. Um, so this is really day three of a series of tornadoes there. Uh, on Sunday, at least one person was killed, and the devastation today looks much more massive. So uh, we will wait to hear the reports of that, but so far we know that dozens have been injured. People living, John, in so-called Tornado Alley will be used to, to this kind of uh, extreme weather. They'll have, they have shelters, won't they? If they get enough warning they can, they can, uh, that they're in the storm's path, they can, they can get out of harm's way. Absolutely, they can. Those who are most vulnerable are the people who live in mobile homes, trailer homes. And, and we found today that they were among the victims, among the people who at least had their homes ripped apart Today. We're told that there, were, there was fist-sized hail, blinding rain, and, of course, those tornadoes we have been talking about. For those people who have time, they can get underground to safe spots, and that's why those sirens went off in Oklahoma City. But there are so many people who live in rural areas, especially in those trailer homes, who are particularly vulnerable. There are spots in that area where people on the highway, of course, did not have a lot of warning uh, with large trucks overturned on the highway, so that makes transportation dangerous there as well. And uh, there are apparently many more, uh, many more potential tornadoes and, and much more severe weather yet to come. John, this is not uh, unusual in, in, in that tornadoes uh, touch down in this area of the United States, this part of the United States, each and every year. However, uh, I'm given to understand that, that this year's tornado season began late, is that right? It did. This was really one of the lighter tornado seasons in recent memory. Um, as you pointed out, there was that tornado that swept this very same area in 1999, uh, striking the town of Moore, Oklahoma. That is apparently happening again. Winds were so high during that particular 1999 event that, according to one report I read, they were the highest winds reported on Earth. Um, 
So this is an area that is accustomed to devastation. As you point out, they call it Tornado Alley, and they do that for a reason, because this happens every year. But this year was looking like it was less dangerous than previous years, and all that has changed literally in a matter of hours.